TSU has not been a priority for the state of Tennessee since its founding. Leaders of Tennessee State University are doing all they can to save TSU, telling members at the State Building Commission hearing the campus is in dire financial straits. TSU is confronting the challenges with deliberate strategic action. While we understand the complexities ahead, our resolve to restore financial health, enhance operations, and secure long-term prosperity is unwavering. The state advanced TSU millions of dollars from 2025 to get the 2024 school year started. This was an order to keep the institution financially afloat. But Representative G.A. Hardaway out of Memphis says the university is owed money, and that should have been the focus of the meeting. Uh, we've been intentionally deprived of educational funding, and it's wrong. And I, I would like to see the focus be on providing that, that funding, adequate funding going forward, but also addressing the dollars that the federal government and our own state audit suggests that is still owed to Tennessee State University over two billion dollars. Interim President Ronald Johnson implemented a 100 day action plan focused on stabilizing university operations and ensuring the long term sustainability of TSU. Over the past months, the campus tells us leaders have identified and implemented measures that have saved the university around 13 million dollars. However, these necessary cost cutting measures have also led to laying off 114 employees. TSU says it has an ongoing financial action plan consisting of a hiring freeze, a spending freeze, and a realignment that includes workforce adjustments. Hardaway is calling on his GOP colleagues in the House and Senate to make TSU a priority. I would encourage them to do the right thing and provide adequate funding for Tennessee State University. State officials said in the meeting it will require major cuts to programs and staff to return TSU to glory. Campus leaders say they continue to work to sustain a future-ready TSU. In Nashville, Kelsey Gibbs, News Channel 5.